So, we're going to train some back and biceps today. I just got to clean up a little bit. There's a lot of dust residue and lots of chalk in here. So, just doing a bit of cleaning. Just got to finish up right here. Can't forget the ceilings. I got some new toys to work with today. They're right there. They're actually crash cushions from Rogue. Uh, very, very sturdy. So today I'm going to do some block pulls. That's so heavy. Oh, I'm just kidding. Kind of like my regular deadlift grip is like here usually. So I'm gonna go much wider today. I'm gonna to put my, probably my middle finger right here on the ring. And this right here, just the fact that you're going wider is gonna engage your lats more, which means better back growth. And then, to really make sure to engage your lats, that's very important right here, what I'm gonna say to you. So then, right before pulling, I externally rotate my elbows like this to engage my lats. So. Right before pulling, big breath, and then right before pulling, I externally look at my elbows. External rotation, engage the lats, and then you pull. Do it, I'll do it again, okay? So, big breath, get braced, and then external rotation of the elbow. And then right there, that's gonna engage a fuckload of your lats and it's gonna keep your back straight as an arrow, okay? Try it for yourself. That's a very good deadlift tip that lots of people don't know, so uh, hopefully that can help you. I'm very impressed with these cushions right there. It's the first time I use them and I don't even think it does any vibration whatsoever underneath. So I can literally do blog posts without annoying my neighbors, which is nice. Set up the barbell right there. Let's go for 10 to 15 reps. They will not be clean reps. I'm not gonna do them strict. I will use a bit of momentum, but I will, I will put emphasis on hinging over as much as possible. It's very important that my torso is as close to the ground as possible and my spine is neutral because the more hinged over you are, the more back dominant this exercise will be. But I see a lot of people in the gym they don't really hinge over that much. It, they maybe do like this and then do like this. Like it's it's not gonna engage your back that much. It will engage a fuckload of upper traps, but mainly try to really hinge over as much as you can and really make this a back dominant exercise. So My hand is starting to bleed right there, the skin is ripping apart, so I got myself some weightlifting tape, tape right here. I forgot I had this because I rarely use it, but I'm just going to put it on my thumb, 
right here. Very useful tool because then you can just do it like this, rip it. It's gonna protect my thumb now. I'm gonna do that for both thumbs just to prevent a tear on this one. challenge for you okay so you know how we go in the gym and then we usually use a bench to do our rows right well I got a challenge for you okay do rows without a bench without anything to lean on and really force yourself to have a really good technique really neutral spine uh, let me share with you how I do it so I'm gonna do rows I'm gonna put my foot in front of the other you know what slightly back like this and then I'm gonna hinge over as much as possible so my torso is as close to the ground as possible. And then I'm gonna row. This right here is very, very hard to keep everything tight and neutral compared to using a bench and putting your, your knee on it like this. So let's go for it. Let's go for 12 to 15 reps each side. Let's go. So foot behind, the other one in front. Take my grip. Deep breath through the stomach, and then I brace. When I want to start, I, I brace, I tighten everything up basically. Everything, my stomach, my low back, my glutes, my legs, everything really goes tight. So then I'm in a good, safe position to do my rows. Today I'm going to do some pull-ups. I'm going to do them wide grip right here. I'm going to really focus on having a full elbow lockout, really locking out my elbow, and then pulling myself up, squeezing my lat, and then stretching, locking out my elbow, and then pulling, squeezing. Very important to have that full range of motion to activate your lats as much as possible and get wide and get bigger. Let's go. 15 to 20 reps. Let's get into it. I'm really going to focus on having good technique to have the best possible results. Let's go. Girls, I'm gonna go for a full range of motion. Keep it simple. Ten reps. Two. Oh. Oh. 
and done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. It was a good workout. Try it out for yourself, but obviously do weights that work for you. Have a good technique and see how it goes. Hey, I gotta go eat. I'm starving right now. Let's go eat.